Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Unpacking Possibility with your host, yours truly, Dr. Tracy Stein. I am so happy to be here with you, as always. Now, this episode is a little bit different for a few reasons. One, it's designed to help you fall asleep faster, more deeply, more easily, so you can get a good night's rest and awaken feeling really refreshed and ready to greet the day. And who doesn't need that? So most of this episode is really the meditation. It's a brief 15-minute episode, and there's no outro, so you'll just be able to listen and drift off to sleep. So please do not listen while driving. Of course, you already know that. And the other thing is it was recorded live using Facebook Live. So if you like that format, please leave me a comment or shoot me an email and let me know. This podcast episode, like all of them, is available on YouTube as well as on all of your favorite streaming apps. But again, please feel free to like, share, follow, and let me know what you think. And without further ado, on to the episode. It's a really um, terrific thing to be with you here tonight. And again, yes, I just said at night because we're live streaming. For those of you who see this later, uh, this episode is going to be different, not only because of the time, but because I'm not going to do a lot of education. I'm going to do mostly a guided meditation rather than explanation. And tonight's focus is going to be on getting deep restorative sleep. Now, as many of you know, my um, thing or one of my main things has been to create audio programs over the years using mindfulness and guided imagery and hypnosis. And they all lend themselves extremely well to getting deeper, more restorative sleep. It's a really good thing. So... I want to shout out really quickly to Jason Reed for assisting with the technical aspects of tonight. Thank you, Jason. And I want to remind people as we begin that it's wonderful for you to settle in and get comfortable. Please don't watch this or listen while you're driving, chopping vegetables or anything where you'd want to be paying more strict attention. And as you'll probably notice already, my pacing is slowing down because we are going to immerse ourselves in this very relaxing sleep imagery. And I hope that you enjoy it. And if you fall asleep before the imagery is done, that's completely wonderful. So again, tonight we'll focus on techniques like mindfulness and guided imagery and hypnotic suggestion. But as always, I want to give you the suggestion that your own wisest self is your own best guide. So if I offer a suggestion and your mind has a better way of using that or, or thinking about what would help you sleep, go with that. Okay. So. The main goal for tonight is that you can get deep restorative sleep, fall asleep easily, and wake up feeling really refreshed and ready to greet the day. So again, I hope you have your comfortable pajamas on, (laughs) if that feels right. Maybe a cup of tea. I have my herbal tea with me. I have a little candle going for relaxation. Why not? right? Don't burn a candle if you're falling asleep, but some aromatherapy can be great. So you can use the techniques that we'll incorporate tonight on your own anytime you wish. There's no mystery to really good hypnotic suggestion, and you'll kind of get the sense of what I mean as we go along. But you could also watch the replay. You can find my other sleep imagery Um, all in the Hay House, Empower You, Unlimited app, whatever works for you. Okay, so again, you'll notice my voice is getting a little quieter. My pace is slowing down. And both of those can facilitate going within so that your awareness goes from the outside world 
to the screen of your mind, like a, like a flashlight beam that you've had outside the outside world all day. And now you're just turning within, illuminating again, what is for your best and highest good from your own wise subconscious mind. And just remember, there's no one right way to do this. Your body and mind are made to get a good night's sleep, even if that's felt a little challenging. So as always, we can begin with the breath. That's the mindfulness element. Just allowing your very natural breathing the gentle waves of inhalation and exhalation to help your body and mind relax. You were actually created to be able to do this very naturally. And any thoughts or emotions that arise, that's completely fine. Any sensations, pleasant or unpleasant, it really doesn't matter. You could either pick one that you would like your awareness to stay with and just focus on that. Or you can just Allow those things from the daytime world to just move gently on a shelf on the side of your mind. You can always take them back later when it's the right time. That might be tomorrow or another time entirely. And as you settle in, I just want to let you know that at the end of this meditation tonight, I'll just simply thank you for joining me and say good night. So if you like, you can drift easily off to sleep. But again, just sending your breathing to any part of your body or mind that needs a little extra relaxation comfort. You can just imagine now that the breath helps you to soften the corners of your mouth, letting them relax back, softening the muscles around your jaw and your neck. We can hold tension there without realizing it. And how wonderful to just let your breathing help you have that pleasant release. You can even notice as the muscles around your eyes, the skin around your eye sockets can just relax back almost as if it's relaxing toward your temples. Your cheeks can soften. You might even feel that the breath helps you to relax your scalp. Now feeling the breath just like water, moving to the muscles in your back, chest, torso, your hips, your legs, your hands and feet. Letting the muscles unwind pleasantly. And just sinking more comfortably and deeply and naturally and easily into your bedding, wherever you find yourself. Perhaps just noticing 
that you feel so pleasantly ensconced in your bedding, a soft comforter, the feeling the smoothness and perhaps the coolness of your sheets. And just notice as your attention moves to those familiar but very comforting sensory experiences, how everything else can just move off to the side for now. For the time just being. And for some of you, maybe you'll notice the scent of your sheets or your pillows. And it might be the scent of your laundry detergent or just the scent of you. Just really comforting. The scent of sleep. So familiar and welcoming. And you can allow yourself, again, on this lovely screen of your mind, to recall a time when you slept very easily and deeply. Again, just feeling very cocooned in your bedding in the most pleasant and, and, and secure way. And it might call to mind perhaps a snow day when you were a kid, an unexpected pleasure of vacation where you got to sleep in a little bit later, perhaps feeling more relaxed than you had in a a long time. Or you might recall another time when you rested so peacefully. Perhaps lying on a beach towel, feeling the coarse warm sand below you and letting your muscles relax deeply. The sand kind of just giving way. Just molding to support you. Or perhaps even something as simple as having taken a warm bath or had a soothing cup of tea and then putting on a kind of fluffy and comforting bathrobe and putting your feet up and just taking time for yourself. And really, that's what a good night's sleep is. A time for your body and mind to rest and restore. Just delighting in the gift of the present moment. So simple. Just allow your wisest self to create the most helpful and healthful experience for you in the now. Enjoying this dreamy landscape within you. Noticing the sights. Perhaps the play of light on that inner landscape. Notice what you hear. A gentle breeze blowing or gently rustling leaves or other sounds of nature or just a beautiful sense of quiet and peace.
lovely and wonderful and well-deserved vacation from the day. Again, this is when your body and mind restore themselves. So doing the work of letting is exactly what you should be doing right now. What a wonderful thing that is. Again, there is no one right way. Just recalling what it's felt like in the past to sleep deeply and easily and comfortably and well. So that in the morning or whenever it's the right time for you to awaken, after a beautiful and easy and restorative rest, you can feel refreshed and clear and ready to greet the day. Again, what a wonderful thing that is. But for now, you can settle in and simply sleep. Good night, and I'll see you next time.